In 1945, Manhattan Project scientists dropped the very first atomic bomb and accidentally created a brand new mineral. Hi everyone, astrophysicist here to talk about Alamogordo glass. Alamogordo glass, or trinitite, looks like this, and it was created in the mushroom cloud of the Trinity test that was done in southern New Mexico. This stuff is an extremely complex mineral that's made of sand, plutonium and other heavy elements, and actual components of the bomb structure. Sometimes trinitite is smooth and round like a pebble, but more often it looks like this, which has a really rough side and a very smooth side. This is because this stuff is created by updrafting sand into the explosion, mixing with all those explosive materials, and then it rains back down to the desert floor. The top face has not been exposed to anything except the air. It stays smooth. The bottom face fuses with the sand below it and becomes really rough. It also has really cool fine structure. If you zoom into the micron level, you can see these melted quartz crystals, which geologists use to tell how much pressure the material was under when it was created. It's actually kind of like a kaleidoscope thermometer of what was going on during the nuclear bomb. Alamogordo glass comes in three different colors, and scientists believe that those colors actually correspond to the component of the bomb that produced that glass. This common bottle green color is from the structure, the actual casing of the bomb. This red color, which is a little bit more rare, comes from the wiring and the electronic component. And this super rare black color is iron, but we're not really sure what that corresponds to. And I'm not about to Google Manhattan Project schematics and put myself on a list, so we're just not going to know. Anyways, a lot of the Alamogordo glass produced by the explosion was buried by the U.S. government, and now it's illegal to take it from the site. But you can still find it on the internet. Just keep in mind that it's a little radioactive, so don't lick it and don't eat it. That's all for today. Feel free to drop any questions in the comments, and don't forget to check out my upcoming book, Life in Seven Numbers, available next summer through Princeton University Press.